Okay, Toy School students, we will be taking the final part of your toy science exam today with the world famous toy scientist. It's amazing how the toy scientist looks just like Miss Lucy, isn't it? It's like she's her spitting image. Well, toys and science are my two passions, so I'm thrilled to help you and your toy school students, Miss Lucy. Wonderful. I'm going to return to my classroom now, students. You're in great hands. <laughs> You're going to love the toy lab. It's just as cool as toy school. Really? I can't imagine anything as cool as toy school. Okay, my toy school students, it's time to begin the first portion of the exam. I'm suddenly very nervous. Don't worry, Maya. You know your toy science like the back of your hand. I'm going to ask the class a series of high-level, challenging scientific questions. If you know the answer, please buzz in using your buzzer. Buzzer? What buzzer? This one, Maya. <laughs> Ethan. <laughs> you got this, Maya. Don't panic now. Don't panic. Don't panic. Question number one. The scientific name Canis Lupus Toyus Familiaris is known as what lovable toy? <gasps> yes, Addy. It's a for real Shaggy Sean. Correct, Addy, and for that correct answer, you get your very own Shaggy Sean. Awesome! Yes, Shaggy Sean, so awesome. Wow, maybe this is as cool as toy school. Question number two. What results when a chemical reaction occurs between a Barbie and a Hatchimal? That one is easy, enchantimals. Correct, Kira. And for answering correctly, you get to take home four new enchantables. You'll get Sancha Squirrel, Pixby Hedgehog, Karina Koala, and Pinky Parrot. Best science test ever. Maya, you have to calm down. You have to answer a question to pass the test. Test must pass test. Question number three. When we combine one test tube of lime green solution with one test tube of bright red solution, what hot new game do we create? Huh? Yes, Ethan? Watermelon smash! Wonderful, Ethan, and for answering correctly, you get your very own watermelon smash game. Awesome sauce! And now for the final exam question. You've got to get this, Maya. Yeah, come on, snap out of this. Okay, okay. I have a brand new Orbeez Wow World. Who can accurately demonstrate the proper scientific procedure that will result in a magical pet surprise? Come on, Maya, come on, Maya. I've got this! Okay, Maya, it's all yours. Unwrap the packaging. You're doing it, Maya, you're doing it. Remove the lid. Remove the seal. Now we'll put the cap back on, but remove the water cover. Now I'll fill it with water. Amazing! Adorable! What's the next step, Maya? I'll put the key in to watch Finny dance. Then how do you get it out, Maya? Easy peasy. Remove the glove cap. Insert the key again. And lift it up. Amazing! And that's how you do it. Nice work, Maya. And for your correct demonstration, you get another Orbeez Wow World. Wow, I did it! Congratulations, students. You have all earned A pluses on your toy science exam. Now, we just have to name our Top Toy Science Student of the Year. Top Toy Science Student of the Year? What's that? I have no idea, but I want it to be me. This honor goes to the student who uses all the toy science knowledge that they gained all year long to create the coolest new toy. Wow, we get to make new toys? And that's right, students, and you'll have access to all of the toy science equipment in my lab to help you create your creations. Wow, this is so exciting. I am so ready for this. Bring on the challenge. All right, students. 
students, you will have 20 minutes to create a brand new toy using your toy science knowledge. And when time is up, you will each present and demonstrate your new toy to the class. 20 minutes, I could do this. And after you've each had a chance to present your toy to us, the voting will begin. Whoever gets the most votes will be named our top toy science student of the year. Toy scientists who will be voting. Wonderful question, Addie. There's this popular YouTube channel called Tic Tac Toe. Wait, that's not right. Tic Tac Toy, yes, that's it. Oh, I've heard that channel. Their viewers will be voting. Once you have each presented your toy, I will give our Tic Tac Toy viewers instructions on how they cast their vote. Wow, I really hope they vote for my toy. Okay, Toy School students, your 20 minutes begins now. This looks perfect. I'll just mix a little bit of this with a little bit of this. Yes, it's working, it's working! Watch out, Maya, you're gonna ruin my science project. Oops, do you mind a little mess to a scientist? I always say that a catastrophic mess is a sign of a good toy scientist. Just a bit more slur, so this should be perfect. Okay, students, just 10 minutes remaining. Excuse me, toy scientist, do you have any toilet paper? Uh, in the bathroom. Perfect. He's not seriously using toilet paper to make his toy, right? Sounds a little crazy to me, too. A little bit more, a little bit more. What is he doing? That's perfect. Perfect, that looks disgusting. You say that now, wait until you see my toy. Okay, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Wow, that works better than I thought it would. <laughs> Sorry guys. I think I'll go air out the room and then we'll have one minute left. One minute? Almost done, almost done. Perfection. And that's time. Okay students, it is presentation time. And do remember that our Tic Tac Toy fans will be judging your presentations in just a few minutes. The winner will be named Top Toy Science Student of the Year. Wow, I hope it's me. Okay Addie, you're up first. Today I present you my creation. The Scruff Love. This adorable pet inside this package has been abandoned and unloved. <gasps> and it needs to be rescued. It reminds me of Sandy, we rescued her. Now when you first open up your new furry friend, your little Scruff will look like a sad ball of matted fur. Poor thing, what kind of animal is the Scruff Love? That's a great question. It could be a dog, a cat, or a rabbit. Ooh, I want a dog for sure. You can transform your pet. From scruffy to fluffy and four easy steps. What are they, what are they? Step one is giving your scruffle up a nice bath. Bathtub. Let's get you clean. Some pet shampoo. Grab a dub dub. Whoa. Step two is the big reveal. This is when you find out your scruffle up is a dog, a cat, or a rabbit. What is that one? What is that one? It looks like I got a cat. Isn't it adorable? Absolutely precious. Now time for step three. Time to dry your pet. First, you use a towel. And next, you use a hair dryer. It's getting drier. And when it's all 
Andre doll, it looks something like this dog Scruffalo. Isn't he precious? And what's the next step? Step four is the grooming stage. This is where you brush your scruff, then you add their collar, and some fun accessories. And that is my toy creation, the Scruffalo. Bravo, Addie, I can tell you learned a lot in your toy science class this year. Wow, that was incredible. Yeah. I hate to follow her presentation. Ethan, you're up next. Okay, class, ready to get blown away? Did I say blown away? I mean blasted away! By toilet paper blasters! Now that looks cool. Well, let me show you how you use your blaster when it's out of the book. First, you fill this thing with water to the very top. Load a roll of toilet paper. A big roll! Then you blast away. I've got to see this. And if you want target practice, cut off the target from the box. No wonder you need that much toilet paper. Time for a demonstration. Yeah, bring it on. Now who wants to give it a try? Me! Okay class, okay class, you can all have a You can all have a turn. Sweet. Bullseye! Whoa! Nice! Whoa! Holy cow! My new toy, the toilet paper blaster. Yes! Wow, what a nice job, Ethan. You know what, Maya, you're up next. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I want to show you for real Ricky, the trick loving pup. Wow, talk about good presentation. This pup loves to do tricks and loves to get treats. That is one cute pup. For sure. Let me get it out of the box and show you a few of his talent. Ricky's most popular trick is flipping his bone. You won't want to miss this. Whoa, that's so cool. Can he shake paws too? You betcha, check this out. Whoa. Treats after he performs. What else does he do? Well, he loves to give dog kisses. So watch out, Addie, she's coming towards you. <laughs> Ricky also makes over 100 sounds and motions. So you'll have to play with him to see all that he can do. Whoa! Wow, your toy presentation blew me away, Maya. Nice job. Thank you, toy scientist. You did great, Ricky. Kira, looks like you're up next. Okay, class, two of my favorite toys are Wubbles and adorable stuffed animals. Oh, I'd agree with that for sure. So I decided to combine the two to create the most adorable and fuzzy stuffed animals. Stuff with a wobble! Wow, there's so many to collect. That's right, I created six fuzzy wobbles. There's BB, Daisy the pig, and Pixie the unicorn. Plus there's a few more, as you can see. Can we blow them up now? That's an excellent idea, Ethan. Ethan, you got Daisy the pig. Maybe the cats for Maya. This is the one I wanted! Now you get to pick the unicorn. Yes! Alright guys, now you have to blow them up! Now that they're filled, you'll notice that they're the softest, squishiest, most huggable, lovable stuffed animal ever! You're right, Kira! Let's play with them, guys! Not be
be more impressed with all of you. So, Toy Scientists, is it time for the voting to begin? Yeah, I want to know who's going to win. It sure is time to vote, and Tic Tac Toy fans, we are counting on you to help us name our top Toy Science Student of the Year. We need you to tell us who the winner is by voting in the comment section below. Should it be Addie with her Scruffle Up, Ethan with his Toilet Blaster, Maya with her Ricky the Trick Lovin' Pup, or Kira with her Fuzzy Wubbles? Let us know what you think because the voting begins now! Vote for me!